Hi there, this is your friend Virendra Diyar. This moment is very inspiring to me and I am really excited to share with you the secret of happiness, peace and joy in life. Of course, as we very well know, we are what we are because what we have chosen and sheltered the thoughts in our mind. Our thoughts is a real source of all greatness, all happiness and secret of all suffering, joy, sorrow, grief, everything else. Everything originates with our thinking power. But if we want to be very happy, very joyful, very serviceable, very honourable, very much respected, then we have to really harbour the thought, the seed of thought. They can only bring forth such kind of joyous moment in your life. It is found that most of the time, the people are having explosive nature. They are short-tempered, they are angry people, they are people who hates everyone else, and then they make their life very miserable, their life is nothing but just punishment. They are imprisoned in an environment where there is only tears, sorrow, grief, suffering, and the life is nothing more than a hell. This talk of mine is very much going to inspire you that you should always be aware of what you are thinking in your mind because our thought has made us what we are but the thought was rotten built. If a man's mind has evil thoughts, pain comes from him as comes the wheel the ox behind. If a man has the purity of thought, joy follows him as his own shadow. So the basic theme is that we should have a joyful thought, a thought which is very pure and which is very pious, which is giving us happiness and peace of mind and its manifestation in the environment and circumstances also creates such congenial environment where everyone is enjoying the serene, the serenity, the poise, calm and steadfast. And for this, we have to perform certain lessons and that is to develop the self-control, self-discipline, a balanced mind, which is always thoughtful, which always thinks and speaks and acts. And also, the mastery of thought, the right thought, the purity of thought, which is always generous, lovable, affectionate. So anybody who is just along with us, they will always enjoy their moments and they will never have any kind of negative ideas because our every word stimulates the mind of the people who are surrounding us. So we only generate an environment where there will be environment of hate and love. Also, the calmness, the poise, the serenity is another blessings of the Lord. And if we really develop this by long experience and practice, then we can have millions of friends because that is our powering power which will really make everyone our friend. Everyone will cooperate with us and everyone will help us to really enjoy a peaceful environment. The journey of life will be full of excitement, full of cooperation, full of happiness, joys, and, and every moment will be blessed, blessedness. That is the message I want to convey you, dear friends, in these early hours of this morning. Thank you. Just be patient and try to see what is the importance of calmness in our life, what is the importance of a person who has developed such qualities and how blessed he is. Calmness of mind is one of the beautiful jewels of wisdom. It is a result of long and patient effort in self-control. Its presence is an indication of a ripened experience. 
and of a more than ordinary knowledge of the laws and operation of thought. The strong and calm person is always loved and revered. They are like shade-giving trees in a thirsty land, a sheltering rock in a storm. Who does not love a tranquil heart, a sweet-tempered, balanced life? It does not matter whether it rains or shines, or what changes comes to those possessing these blessings, for they are always sweet, serene and calm. What for your waiting develops of quality, and you will be the one most sought after and the most loved one person and you will enjoy your heavenly abode on this particular earth under the sun, under the sky where there is limit, no limit of your happiness, peace and joys. That exquisite poise of character which we call serenity is the last lesson of culture. It is the flowering and fruitage of soul. It is as precious as wisdom and more to be desired than gold, diamonds, yes, even the fine gold on this planet Earth. How insignificant mere money-making looks in comparison to a serene life, a life that dwells in the ocean of truth, beneath the waves, beyond the tempest, in the eternal calm, the environment which is quite congenial, serene, pious, pure, lovable, affectionate, and having all the embodiments where people can really breathe very comfortable, laughable moments full of joy and exuberance. That is in our hand. If we harbor such thoughts, then this is very much possible. Without any deviations, we should continue this, such kind of noble thoughts in our mind. We must discover and realize the truth that we are ourselves the maker of our life. By virtue of the thought, we choose and encourage. Our mind is the master weaver, both to the inner garment of character and the outer garment of circumstances. So if you want really a circumstance and environment, we should have the noble seed of thoughts, which is full of peace, love, affection, and then the whole environment will be manifesting itself in the right proportion, exactly in the right proportion, without any deviation. But unfortunately, how many people do we know who suffer their lives who ruin all their sweet and beautiful by explosive tempers, who destroy their poise of character and make bad blood. It is a question whether the great majority of the people do not ruin their lives and mar their happiness by lack of self-control. How few people we know in life who are well balanced, who have self-discipline and self-control, and who are always willing to share all their blessings with everyone. And that's why weaning the heart and soul of the mind of the people and really be loved woman, the most sought after person who are really having the heavenly ascendance in their life of all joy, happiness, strength, power, blessings, name, fame, everything at their disposal. Also the people which exuded poise, which is characteristics of the Finnish character. Yes, humanity surges with uncontrolled passion, is tumultuous with ungoverned grief, is blown about by anxieties and doubt. Yes, only the wise one, the thinking person, the wise person, who has always a positive mental attitude and calm demeanor, whose thoughts are controlled and purified, make the winds and the storms of the soul obey them. The beloved friends, the basic, basic motive of my this talk is to create such an environment that we can be very affectionate, very much peaceful, and very much happy. And remember that we can create really a great moment in our life and get rid of all these kind of suffering, sorrows, and grief just by controlling our thoughts. We are what we are because of our thought. And remember, the tempest souls, wherever you are, under whatever circumstances you are, under whatever condition you may be living, remember it. In the ocean of life, the happy isles of your blessedness are smiling. The sunny shore of your ideals 
are awaiting your arrival and the bright moment of the circumstances is also going to manifest your dreams and desires in the form of reality if you are following the path of serenity keep your hand firmly on the helm of your purity of thoughts the right thoughts which is generous which is lovable which is affectionate which is going to generate love and affection in the heart and mind of every one and also try to listen in the bark of your soul reclines the commanding master he does what sleep wake him and remember self control is your strength calmness of mind is your power and right thought is your real mastery and you are a master the master of your fate and the captain of your soul just by controlling your thought and send your heart peace be still because mind is the master power the molds and max and man is mind and even more he takes the tool of thought and shaping what he wills bring forth a thousand joys and thousand ills the man thinks in secret it come to pass the environment is but is looking glass dear friends this is the sincere lessons we have to learn that we can make our life really worth living most serviceable most honorable by controlling our right thought the purity of thought this earth will be really a heaven for us where there is only peace love and non violence be wise be enlightened give encouragement to only the goodness the positive part of your life and the whole world will worship you so reverence to you so respect to you and love fame and fortune will be not away from you they will always shower on you and whatever there is on the earth and beyond that it will be always for you and you will be real worthy man on this planet earth thank you very much may god bless you and emulate such characteristics of great personality where everything is serene calm and beautiful thank you very much for watching this video the sky is the limit for you and you are peaceful you are calm you are serene you are blessed one thank you very much